Hello everyone, this is Mamta Moon and today we will solve some questions on whole numbers. Let's get started and solve some questions on whole numbers. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog messaged.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSE, ICSE and other state boards. Let's get started and solve some questions. And if you like this video, then please click the like button. Now we will solve question number one. Find its sum. First we take. 39,208 plus 392 which is inside the bracket plus 726 we have to find sum of this addition addition sentence and second bit is 39,208 plus 392 plus 726 which is inside the bracket we have to find <coughs> sum of these two addition sentence then we have to uh, check are they equal we have to check whether they are equal or not and which property of addition do they show? We have to find the property of addition. Which property of addition? Now first find out addition of this first addition sentence. That is A. 39,208 plus 392 which is inside the bracket plus 726. First we have to add these two numbers. 39,208 plus 392 39,208 plus 392 8 plus 2 is 10 1 carry over 1 plus 9 is 10 1 carry over 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 3 6 then 39 39,600 plus 726 now we add these two numbers 39,600 plus 726, 0 plus 6 is 6, 0 plus 2 is 2, and 6 plus 7 is 13, 1 carry over, carry over 1 plus 9 is 10, then 1 carry over plus 3 is 4, 40,326, 40,326, this is the addition of the first addition sentence. Now we have to add the second addition sentence. It is second B. B, B. Now <coughs> 39,208 and 392. We have to um, we have to give the bracket inside the numbers 392 and 726. Now first find out the addition of these two numbers 392 and 726 which is inside the bracket. 39,208 plus 392 plus 726 392 700 26 2 plus 6 8 9 plus 2 is 11 1 carry over 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 7 11 now 1100 18. Now we add these two numbers 39,208 and 1,118. 39,208 and 1,118. 8 plus 8 is 16. 1 carry over. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 9 plus 1, 10. 1 carry over. 1 plus 3, 4. 40,326. Now 40,326. <coughs> we got uh, addition of these two addition sentence is 40,326. Now we got sum of these two addition sentence is 40,326. 40,326 in first bit and second bit also 40,326. Both are equal. Are they equal? Yes, they are equal. Which property of addition do they show? This is called associative property of addition of whole numbers.
so these two addition sentence are equal and this property is called associative property of addition of whole numbers now question number 2 for each addition sentence uh, write two subtraction sentences first bit 101 plus 278 is equal to 379 We have to we have given addition sentence and and we have to write two subtraction sentence of this given addition sentence. First uh, subtraction sentence is 379 minus 101 is equal to 278. This is the result and we have to subtract this 379 from 101. We got this number 278. And second subtraction sentence is We have to subtract two hundred seventy-eight from three hundred seventy-nine. We got one hundred one. This is the second subtraction sentence. So two subtraction sentences are uh, two subtraction sentences are three hundred seventy-nine minus one hundred one is equal to two hundred seventy-eight, and three hundred seventy-nine minus two hundred seventy-eight is equal to one hundred one. These are the two uh, subtraction sentence of this given addition sentence. Now question number second bit. Uh, 75 plus 59 is equal to 134. We have given addition sentence and we have to write two subtraction sentences. First bit. 134 subtract uh, minus 75 is equal to 59. If we subtract 75 From one hundred thirty-four, we got we'll get fifty-nine. One hundred thirty-four minus seventy-five is equal to fifty-nine. This is the first subtraction sentence. Now, second subtraction sentence is if we subtract fifty-nine from thirty one hundred thirty-four, we'll get seventy-five. This is the second subtraction sentence. One hundred thirty-four minus fifty-nine. Is equal to seventy-five. These are the two given subtraction sentences of the given addition sentence. One hundred thirty-four minus seventy-five is equal to fifty-nine, and one hundred thirty-four minus seventy-five, one hundred thirty-four minus fifty-nine is equal to seventy-five. These are the two subtraction sentences of the given addition sentence. Now we will solve question number three. Sila brought a Hindi novel from the library, which had 372 pages. She had uh, she had read 152 pages on the first two days. If she if she read 79 pages on the third day, how many pages would remain unread? So first number of pages in the Hindi novel is 372. Total number of pages. In the book Hindi novel is 372, and uh, Sila read in on first two days five 152 pages, and on third day she read 79 pages. So total Sila read on the first three days is total pages. Sila read on first three days. Is 152 pages on the first two days, and on the third day she read 79 pages. So 152 plus 79 is 9 plus 2 is 11. 1 carry over 5 plus 1 carry over 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry over 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 231 pages so total page, total pages sila read on first three days is 231 now how many pages would remain unread so total number of pages unread by sila is total pages sila unread is Total number of pages in the Hindi novel book that is 372, 378 minus total pages Sila read on first three days is 231. So 
सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ पेजेस ऑफ द होम हिंदी नोबेल माइनस टोटल नंबर ऑफ पेजेस सिला रेड ऑन फर्स्ट थ्री डेज दैट इज थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी टू माइनस टू हंड्रेड थर्टी वन एंड टू माइनस वन इज सेवन एट माइनस वन इज सेवन एंड सेवन माइनस थ्री इज फोर थ्री माइनस टू वन सो वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी सेवन पेजेस सिला सिला नंबर ऑफ पेजेस सिला ऑन रेड इज वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी सेवन सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ पेजेस सिला ऑन रेड रिमेन ऑन रेड इज वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी सेवन Now question number four: Multiply by suitable arrangements. First bit: three three thousand nine hundred eighty-two, six hundred twenty-five, and sixteen. We have to multiply these numbers using suitable arrangements. Three thousand nine hundred eighty-two multiplied with six hundred twenty-five multiplied with sixteen. Uh, here, if we multiply six hundred twenty-five with sixteen. First, then we have to multiply three thousand nine hundred eighty-two. That will be easy. So, so first, multiply six hundred twenty-five multiplied with sixteen. Six five is thirty-three. Six two is twelve. Twelve plus three is fifteen. One and six six is thirty-six plus one thirty-seven. One five is five. One two two six zero ten. One seven eight eight plus two ten. Four plus six ten, ten thousand. So three thousand nine hundred eighty-two multiplied with ten thousand. Now three thousand nine hundred eighty-two multiplied with ten thousand is three thousand three nine eight two four zero. That is three crore ninety-eight lakh twenty thousand. So answer is three crore ninety-eight lakh twenty thousand. First, when we multiply uh, multiply any numbers using suitable arrangement, that is which. Which two numbers we multiply, we get the numbers easily. Then first find out that two numbers, then multiply with the third number. Here we multiply. If we multiply six hundred twenty-five with sixteen, here we get ten thousand. And ten thousand, if we multiply ten thousand and three thousand thirteen, three thousand nine, ten thousand and three thousand nine hundred eighty-two, we get the numbers easily. We no need to multiply second time. Just only put the numbers and put the zeros only. So this is the easiest way to multiply any three numbers using suitable arrangements. Now question number four, second bit. Uh, the numbers are two, two thousand eight hundred sixty-seven and fifty. We have to multiply these numbers using suitable arrangements. Two. Multiplied with two thousand eight hundred sixty-seven multiplied with fifty. Here, if we multiply two with fifty, then uh, it is uh, it will be one one hundred. Two multiplied with fifty is one hundred. Then, if we multiply two thousand eight hundred sixty-seven with one hundred, then no need to multiply that number. That is uh, two. Th just only write the numbers and put the zeros. So, two multiplied with fifty is we you know two multiplied with Fifty is hundred. So first multiply these two numbers. Two multiplied with fifty, then multiply two thousand eight hundred sixty-seven. Here two multiplied with fifty is hundred, then multiply two thousand eight hundred sixty-seven. Then just write down the numbers two eight six seven and put the two zeros. So the number is two lakh eighty-six thousand seven hundred. So here, if we multiply two with two thousand eight hundred sixty-seven, then we multiply fifty. Then it will be very time-consuming. So, so for so for this purpose, we have to multiply these numbers. Two multiply with fifty first, then multiply these numbers hundred with two thousand eight hundred sixty-seven. 
first multiply 2 with 50 that is 100 then multiply 100 with 2867 just write down the number 2867 and put the two zeros so answer is 2 lakh 86700 Now question number third bit C. The numbers are 8, 786 and 125. Here we have to multiply these numbers using suitable arrangements. So multiply 8, 786 and 125. Here if we multiply 8 with 125, then it is uh, 1000. 8 multiplied with 125, then multiply with 786. Here if we multiply 8 with 125 is 1000, then multiply these numbers 1000 with 786. Now multiply 1000 with 786 is 786 triple 0. Just write the, num write the number 786 and put the 3 zeros. Now the answer is 786000. So if we multiply 8 with 786 then the number will be bigger number. Then we have to multiply with one, 125, then it will be bigger number. Uh, so it will take more time. So if we multiply here 8 with 125, then it is 1000. So, and then if we multiply 1000 with 786, then just write the number 786 and put the three zeros at the end. This take less, uh, less times. So answer is 7,86,000. So 8 multiplied with 786 multiplied with 125 is subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you